This place is my heart, it's my passion, it's who I am, and it's what I was created to do. I'm Dr. Rachel Jamison. We are here at Sacre Coeur Pediatric Center in Guinea, West Africa. I am the Chief Medical Officer of Hope Ignited, a nonprofit that's based out of Texas that helped found this clinic. I'm also the medical director of the clinic, and I serve as a pediatric cardiologist here in the clinic. This week has been really special. We have a team of five physicians from Cook Children's in Fort Worth, Texas, who are here with us, and it's been wonderful having them with us. Hi, I'm Kirk Pinto. I'm a pediatric urologist here from Cook Children's in Fort Worth, Texas. It's our first sort of full day, and it has been the most unscheduled, joyful chaos I could have imagined. Every other uh, minute is a new question and something new to do, and frankly, doing things I hadn't done before. It's been a great day so far, and I'm hoping that the rest of the week goes this well. I'm Dr. Sarah Garza, and I'm a general pediatrician at Cook Children's Healthcare Center. I've been on medical mission trips in the past. It's been over 10 years, but I will say that this experience has been incredibly impactful and incredibly joyful at times and incredibly hard at times, um, but it's been one of the greatest experiences in seeing the love of the, the nursing staff, all the members of this Sacred Coeur community that have come together just to be able to see them love these children so well. You know, as a physician, I've done medical missions in the past and kind of found it frustrating in some ways, whether, you know, going to a third world country and setting up under a tree and having nothing um, no resources or, you know, trying to work alongside um, you know, nationally trained um, physicians of their country and just realizing our training is so very different. And what I found was that this is a, a beautiful picture of excellent training that we know and, and have been trained to do brought into um, this incredibly needy place and done in such an excellent way that just makes sense. Today we went into the community in this neighborhood because we wanted to share Bible stories, which Abby did, she did an amazing job. And I was teaching them how to brush your teeth, how to wash your hands, how to use the supplies that we put in the holiday bags. And it was pretty awesome. <laughs> I, would, I would say that um, coming on a mission trip like this as um, students is very impactful because your eyes will be open to um, the different ways of living throughout um, the world and it's going to show you how privileged we are and how blessed we are. My name is Jennifer Poppy. Um, I'm a pediatrician and I live and work in the Fort Worth area in Argyle and my husband and I have been involved with Hope Ignited and Soccer Curve for as long as I can remember. Rachel Jamison is my sister, she's the medical director here and so it's been really fun because we've had like a front row seat to watching God, you know, kind of build out this incredible vision. My name is Abby Ramsbottom and I'm here at Sacred Killer Hospital. Um, it's just so easy to see God here. Um, through the smiles on these one's faces. A few of the unique things that the pharmacy at Sacre Coeur does that don't exist at other pharmacies in this country is compounding. So what we do at Sacre Coeur is we'll find the medication in tablet form, we'll find a recipe that tells us the medication is good for a certain amount of time, and then we'll transform it using the recipe and compounding skills into a syrup for our patients to be able to take. I am praying that one day God will put it on another pharmacist's heart to come and join me here in Guinea. We've been here all week. Um, we saw patients Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. It has been such a unique experience. I've done some other medical mission stuff, but this is um, a very well-organized, um, very um, excellent uh, pediatric medicine. The, the things I've done in the past have been like, you go and you set up a clinic somewhere, and this is not that. This is already very well set up and established, and that has been amazing to see not only how excellent it is, but also um, what they can do with the resources that they have, which is so slim compared to what we have in the U.S. 
I think their vision is, is uh, both very impressive and it's without bounds. They, they're not pretending that they know what God's going to do, um, which is um, exciting. And uh, they've already been very blessed. Um, and I won't be surprised if uh, ophthalmology can become part of their bandwidth in the future. But uh, I know we want to support them and their core mission um, as it is now. So one really special thing that happens here is every morning at eight o'clock, um, the chapel's right here and it's beautiful and the acoustics are amazing. And we meet in there for about 30 minutes. Just a great way to start the day. They read scripture. Um, but one of the things that one of the doctors said is doctors help, but God heals. And that has been so impactful to me all week. With the resources that the staff have here, it feels impossible to take care of this community. But God is a God of possible in the face of impossible, and um, definitely have seen that this week. Come and join us to fight for the children of Guinea.